what this isn't subnautica what's going on people so uh we're gonna play for our next game mass effect um i kind of miss subnautica i want to keep playing it but i already beat it um so i don't want to keep you know beating a dead horse and playing the same thing everyone's already seen me play through both of the games um, once I get my hands on the VR, I will play it again. There's another way I want to play it. I'm going to actually try and play the entire game through VR. Um, for those who've watched my Subnautica videos, you know how freaked out I was about that. Uh, but for now, uh, we'll start our next game with Mass Effect. Um, I chose Mass Effect, uh, kind of because of Subnautica. And I say that because there's only really been two games that I've ever played where I've ever had, like, any kind of emotional attachment or feeling towards the game and one was the Subnautica series as you guys saw and then the next one was uh, Mass Effect and I played Mass Effect, Mass Effect uh, years and years ago when it first came out um, so when Mass Effect 1 and 2 came out I kind of ignored them never really paid attention to them I really wasn't into Mass Effect like that um, and then one day I just said you know what let me pick the games up they're, they're cheap I'll see what they're like so I played the first one loved it um, played the second one, really loved it. It was a great improvement over gameplay. And then, um, coincidentally, it was only like three months away from Mass Effect 3 being launched. So it, it was, it wasn't that bad on timing because then I hopped on to Mass Effect 3 and played that. Um, so that was the first time I was, I played the series. And then I played the series two more times on this, uh, remastered version. But every time I've played it, I've always played as a Paragon. Um, and I've always made like the same similar choices. And that's because I had that emotional attachment to certain characters and certain ways I play the game and certain choices. Um, so I'm going to try and do like the complete opposite that I've always done. So I'm going to try and play as a Renegade. Um, and all the characters that I kind of saved and spared and decisions I've made throughout the game I'm gonna go like the opposite direction so if I save someone in this one I'll probably kill them off and if I pick someone to stay with me and go I'll probably pick the other person to stay and the other person to go um, and the same with choices like the big choices in the game you know spare this race kill this race I'll do the opposite of what I did and I see how that goes I want to see what the dialogues like um, for Mass Effect 1, I'm probably going to kind of just rush through the story, not do any side content, only because the gameplay still isn't really that fun um, compared to the other two. Um, so, you know, I probably won't pay too much attention to side content and just try and get through the first one because out of all three, the first one's gameplay was kind of terrible. It's really outdated. Um, so, yeah, we'll start our new career and I'm going to Play as a, uh, Welcome to Alliance Renegade Military Database. One. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an existing character. Um, just because I want to get through the, it faster. And I mean this game's old enough that everyone's pretty much already played it. So I'm be starting from the beginning with no stats isn't really going to change anything. If you're watching this, it's just because you kind of love the game or you like seeing other people play it and whatnot. So, yeah, we're going to go with this one. These are separate, just fool around games I played, like 12 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours. Um, I think a couple of these are just actually the same game, just in new files. Um, but, yeah, we're going to start with this one. This one I put the most time into. And here we go. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. Raised on the streets. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2048, explorers on Mars discovered the remnants of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, the mysterious artifact revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis of this incredible technology was the force that controlled the fabric of space and time. They called this greatest thing in 
God, they never give you enough time to read that. But basically, for anyone who hasn't played this game before, is you found we found ancient alien technology that boosted our technology like hundreds of years ahead, and we became a space. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission That's sequence. Brilliant. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. 60 frames per second though is really nice for this game. Looks Relay so much is smoother. hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. See, now, when it comes to making these choices here, I've always picked, like, the nice ones. Usually, in this game, it tends to be the top is, like, the nice, like, nice guy answer. The middle is, like, the neutral answer. And then the bottom one's, like, the, you know, the cutthroat, don't take no shit type of answer, like, stern. So, I've always picked the top one. So, basically, I'm going to try and always go towards the bottom. And that usually le leans you more towards Renegade versus Paragon. But I always feel bad about like picking this kind of stuff. It's like being an asshole to the crew. Like I'm so like attached to being nice to them and their their characters that I feel bad. Like I don't even I don't even want to press this now, even though this is my plan on what I'm going to do for the rest of the series. But yeah, it's just like I don't even want to press it. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. See, like frick, I feel bad about that. That is report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? See? I always pick that one. But I gotta go with this one. Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. See, so that gave me a renegade plus two. Oh, is this inverted? Ew, who plays inverted? Stop it. I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. He's a specter. They're always on a mission. And we're getting dragged. I grew up on. Who would play inverted? Why was it even set specter. to inverted? There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. Ugh, everything's so stiff and here. weird in this one. Orders. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. See? Like, I don't want to be an asshole. <laughs> but that's my whole plan for this series, is just to be an asshole. I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? 
Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? <laughs> are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. See, like... I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I'm not sure if it's worth going through all the side con like the side conversations because I'm pretty sure most of you who've seen this have already know the details. Um, but for those who don't, just a quick information: the Protheans are just an, an old, an old, advanced race that died out and left technology behind. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepherd. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. We can handle this on our own. Unless something goes wrong. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't... Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... The Claw! Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. 
Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. Still in the He'll air. feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. And here we go. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Damn! This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard. I'm not a big fan of the combat in this one, though. I want to rush through it and get to the second and third game. I'll try and probably do like my other one. Probably make make hour videos, not make anything too long. This is nice to play another game where I'm not so fucking tense and freaked out about what's gonna bite me every turn I go. I don't even know what difficulty said, and I think I could just cut the phone off. I just got really good gear from playing through the game. Maybe we should check on Jenkins. the handgun. No, don't want that. I want the, the sniper. What the friggin? Come on now. Seriously. Let me equip my sniper rifle. What's going on here? I don't know. We'll figure it out later, I guess. It's always a hiccup, guys. Always a hiccup. He's using one. Why can't I use mine? I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Yeah, this thing overheats quick. Oh wait, no wonder. I'm trying to, I'm making my squad mates equip their weapons. Duh. This stupid ass me. That's how long it's been since I played this game. It's Ashley. Black Eye gotta die. 
I remember this freaked me out when I first played. I was like, oh man, really? I got you, Ashley. Headshot. I don't get so much money for that headshot. Thanks for your. Are you okay? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? We're on a mission. I need a status report now. Oh man, we were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. I've never... Lieutenant Olenko and I will take care of this. Let me come with you, sir. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander. And we could use the extra firepower. Just don't forget who's in charge. Understood, Commander. <laughs> I feel bad. Give the orders and I'll follow him. <laughs> Move out. Like, just being a dick to them, I feel bad about it. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Oops, oh, that's my grenade. That's how you throw grenades, I forgot. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I can make them do stuff. I forget. It's been a while since I played this. Okay, I get it. I get it. Oh, shit. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We're wasting Let's time. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. I don't believe it takes that long Looks to beat like this game. Yeah, this hard. game's about ten hours. It's a good place for an ambush. Like if you just Take like hard. rush through it. This is when I was when I was younger. This freaked me out. I was like, oh god, every game gotta have freaking zombies. Oh god, in it. they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? The running animation, man. This game is so dated. Hmm. <laughs> you currently have 296 items. What the hell? Yeah, see all my stats are maxed. Um, 
Let's auto level her up. Okay, okay, okay. Skip remaining talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, can I give them better weapons? I can't remember. It's, she's just been so long. Um, t -t 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 equipment. High explosive rounds, whoa. Yeah, so I think these guys got, wait, that's me. Um, oh yeah, she definitely needs something better. Yeah, you have that. <laughs> Here you have that. You have that. See, she got shit armor. There you go. And Mr. Alenko. Sniper rifle. What? I don't have better armor to give him? That's it? Just that crap? What about Ashley? Give me that hammer back. He still can't wear it, I guess. Whatever. Take that armor again. Ew! Come on, now you can't be looking like Ashley. Get out of here. Hell no. What's going on? Take that armor. <laughs> Take that fucking armor off. Why is she able to wear this? But he's not. I don't understand. Like it's human. So why can't I wear it? Or why can't he wear it, I should say. I don't know. Yeah, I'd rather he didn't look like a weirdo, so... Yeah. Here we go. Saren. Nihilus. Dude just looks evil. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> I heard gunshots. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. It's leaving.
way. Look at that shot. Beautiful. Of a bullet. Damn, he did. A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us in the norm. Something's moving over behind those crates. Kill him. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! You're a coward. I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Other one? What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone! If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too! The Geth didn't find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You make me sick! You ditch work. Then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? Yes. I couldn't save them. Nobody could. This is cool. It, this is dialogue horrible. I've never heard before. Let's We go. need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. God damn! <laughs> this thing's sending them flying. See, I still remember certain practice dance. What's the difficulty on? Um, can I change the difficulty? Gameplay, difficulty, insanity. Yeah, see, it's already on its hardest difficulty. I just got good, good gear. Shit. 
get the cover. You still see your head. Gas grenades from that mission. The one thing I really never bothered doing in Mass Effect, I don't know why, is I never really like relied on using my teammates' powers. Set the charges, destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Ah, oh, yeah, the bombs. How stiff everything is. <laughs> Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Disarmed. Cover me. I don't think those do anything. Damn. Die. Cover me. <laughs> what the hell are you shooting at? What the <laughs> fuck? He was shooting that way, but the bullets were hitting that <laughs> wall there. What the hell? I got to um, try and sell off all these items that I got. Don't move. LAPD.
Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Immediate... Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Touch you. Too dang Get the Normimidy here quick. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Why? What you mad at her for? This human must be eliminated. Doctor! Dr. Chakwas! I think he's waking up! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Oh yeah, the friggin' Hive Queen from Gears of War. Her voice. Not great. Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You were careless. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. Oh, Don't be so hard see, on man, I feel bad for saying that shit. We have no idea if that's what actually <laughs> set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities? Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine, but I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming. More like a nightmare. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I'm pissed off about the Geth. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Why is Williams here? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. That's a mistake. I don't want her on my ship. I'm the captain of this ship, Commander, and I want Williams on our crew. <laughs> you said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. 
The council's going to want answers. To hell with them. The council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Hates humans? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? A vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Our death. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Forget it. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Not if I can help it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. They can't help us. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Aye aye, Captain. Normally so basic compared to the second one. I'm going to go up. <sighs> Tired. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Taxpayers' money. It's a lot of taxpayers to make that damn thing. Well, I mean, they didn't make it, but. Spoiler! the size of that ship the ascension flagship of the citadel fleet well size isn't everything why so touchy joker i'm just saying you need firepower too look at that monster its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the alliance fleet good thing it's on our side then citadel control this is ssv normandy requesting permission to land stand by for clearance normandy clearance granted you may begin your approach Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony! 
The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. I hate his voice, actually. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. They're blind. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Captain. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Renegade plus two. I used to get so lost here back in the day when I played this. <coughs> welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. No thanks. My I don't need it, guys. Our records indicate Not this is your. I apologize if you found my service unsatisfactory. Very Please unsatisfactory. Please submit any complaints in writing to More the Citadel complaint. Tourist and Visitor. to the little tower. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall. There's the man. Stall the council. Go ahead and Don't tell everybody. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. See, I don't want to be mean to Garrus. Garrus is like the best character in the game. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you blew it. Sounds like you came up empty. Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Why did it make you run so long just to get up to this the damn thing? Won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making us trouble. Mr. Anderson. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Um... That was you, not You're me. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? 
You'll pay. You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. <laughs> Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You are a game bastard. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? What's the point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. You bastards. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. The Council won't help us. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I don't trust him. He's a Turian. I don't want him on our side. Not all Turians are like Saren. If he can help, we need to find him. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I don't like this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. You want me to go see him? I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. What about you and Saren? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. So would I. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Goodbye. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay. Well, that, uh, that makes for our first hour of Mass Effect. Well, we'll see how this series goes. Um, it's definitely going to be a long one if I'm going to do all three. Um, you know, you probably beat this game in about 12 hours if I do an hour each video. You're talking about 12 videos there, then another like 15 to 20 for each of the other ones. So um, it might take a while, um, but, you know, I like Mass Effect, and I've always wanted to go down the Renegade path, so I thought I'd put my experience on YouTube. So uh, for those who like enjoy this, uh, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you on the next part.